I can say 2025 aspirants. So uh, your results are going to be out in a few days and all of you are waiting for the counseling process to start. Now I know that you are confused about two important branches that is ECE which is electronics and communication engineering and EEE that is electrical and electronics engineering. Now there are so many questions that what is the difference between these two branches, which branch is better, which one should I choose and many more. So do not worry if you are someone who is confused within these two branches or you just want to know about these two branches then this video is for you. In this video we will be talking about both the branches in detail, their career opportunities, their curriculum, placement and job roles, top colleges and their cutoff also. Okay, so let's get started without further delay. Okay, so first uh, talking about what all things we have in today's video, first is introduction to both the branches, scopes and application, key subjects and curriculum, career opportunities, job roles, placements, top recruiters, top colleges and their cutoff and whether this branch is correct for you or not. Okay, so first of all moving to the introduction to both the branches. So if I first talk about triple E that is electrical and electronics engineering. So it is a mix of electrical system like power generation, motors, transformers means all those for through which the electricity is generated. Okay, and electronics like circuits and microcontrollers. It is a combination of these two. How electricity is generated and the electronic devices like you have circuits and microcontrollers. Next what you will study in this electricity and how it is generated and distributed. So distribution of electricity, electrical machines like motors and transformers. So this part comes under electronics, this part comes under electrics. Next electronics basics like circuits and embedded system. And now talking about ECE, okay. So one second, yes. So in simple words, it focuses on electronics like chips and circuits and communication like mobile satellites and internet. So here we have how the electricity is generated, those things and the, how the electricity is distributed. And here it is the electronics and the communication system like mobile and internet. Okay, so you will study about electronic devices and circuits, signals and systems, communication systems like 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi, satellite technology, etc. Okay, so I hope you have a rough idea about both this, uh, both this thing. So this part communication and this part electrical are the two things which is different in both. Now talking about the scopes here. Okay, so in this you can design and build electrical circuits, you have the, your, the knowledge that you will get can be used to design and build new circuits to develop electronic components like the design and create the tiny parts that make the electronic devices like chips you have and so it's like you have so many small small devices within a big gadget right. So how to build those small parts then work with the power system for example how the electricity is generated, transmitted and distributed efficiently. Now coming to the electronics and uh, communication engineering, so what all career op options you have? Create things like smartphones, computers, TVs and radios, creating the communication devices. Build and maintain network for phones, internet and other. So the networking, the internet thing, you know all of we use internet every day now in today's world, right? So how the communication connection works there, what all things will be required. So these all things will come under this one. Next, create the teeny components that make up the electronic devices. So that comes here as well because it is a part of electronics. And you know electronics is present in both these branches. Okay, now coming about the key subjects here, so yes, so we have circuit theory, electromagnetic fields, power system, control system, digital electronics and analog electronics, these are some uh, subjects you will study in EEE and in ECE we have these all subjects as you can see, circuit theory, digital electronics, signals and systems, electromagnetic fields and waves, microelectronics and embedded systems, okay. I don't know much about these uh, subjects but these are the different subjects that you will be studying in these two branches, okay. Next moving forward to career options, okay. So you have 
uh, different career options here first of all in the field uh, in the energy sector right where work in power plants you have seen so many power plants we have ntpc thermal power plants right so in the power plants you can get opportunity renewable energy and smart grid sex sectors okay you can get in telecommunication like develop communication technologies like 5g network customer electronics like design gadgets like smartphones laptops and wearables and coming to ece here definitely you have telecommunication electronics manufacturing it is there in both of them here something unique comes that is semiconductor industries where con companies that manufacture tiny chips used in electronic devices then you have automotive industries companies that make cars trucks and other vehicles uh, the engines required that the, all the gadgets required in those automobiles can be come under ECE. Okay, these are some career opportunities. Now job roles if you see what all roles you will get electrical engineer, electronic engineer, automation engineer, power system engineer, research and development engineer and instrumentation engineer. And coming to this side what all things you have. You have same electronics engineer, communication engineer, embedded system engineer, R&D engineer, telecom engineer, RF engineer. Okay, so these are the different job roles that is available for both the uh, branches. Now, if I talk about placement, I have taken the RV college placement for triple E branch. So, if you see this one in 2023-2024, I don't have the 2025 data as of now. The placement percentage was 60%, okay, and the number of students that placed were 39 and the total students were 67, okay. And if you see about the package, so the minimum package was 6 LPA, highest package was 29.9 LPA and the average package was 10.7 LPA. Okay, in 2023-4 session. So now let's compare the placement in ECE in the same college that is RV college. So here in 2022-2023, total 202 students were there in the UG and out of that 158 students got placed. So almost uh, you can see more than 50% uh, students, almost 60-70% students were placed in a well-defined company. So where those were companies? So in Texas, NXP, Global Foundries, Indel, Span, India, Span Idea, then you have MediaTek, Siemens, Nokia, Bosch, then you have Qualcomm, Synopsys. These were the top companies where these students were placed. Okay. And now talking about the placement of BMS College, if you compare EEEE and ECE. Okay. So in BMS College, the number of offers made to ECE was 143, whereas for EEE, it was 69. So definitely ECE is a more demanding branch as compared to Tripoli, okay. Next, uh, if I talk about the top recruiters, okay, so for EEE, that is electrical and electronics engineering, you can have these all top companies like Havels, Bosch, Qualcomm, Boeing, then you have Coach, Airbus, Tata, Advance, Cisco. And there are so many government options also. If you qualify gate examination, then you can get into these government organizations also. For example, BSNL, BARC, DRDO, ISRO, NTPC and BEL. Okay. So, uh, these are the PSUs where you can get into through this particular branch. Now, talking about the top recruiters of ECE, we have Siemens, Microtech, Geo, Samsung, Airtel, LG, Havels, Bajaj Electricals, Wipro, Adani Power, Adani Power, Nokia, Sony. And in PSU, you, you have the same options, BSNL, BARC, DRDO, ISRO, NTPC and BEL. Okay. Now, talking about the top colleges and the cutoff. So, for RV college, in these are your KSET, KSET cutoff. Okay. KSET 2024 second extended round cutoff. Okay. So, for ECE, it was 1354. For Tripoli, it was 4202. And MSRIT for ECE 4880. And in Tripoli, it was 13,087. In BMS, you have two courses. Okay. So, there is aided and unaided courses. So, this is for aided 2955 and 6013 is for unaided course. And in aided courses, the fees will be subs uh, subsidized. Whereas, in unaided courses, it will be on the higher side. Next, you have 12,000. 800 then pest ring road campus you have 5451 and here you have 10345 uvc 9976 and here you have 25367 
uh, SJCE that is Sri Jayachama Rajendra College of Engineering for their ECE is 9599 and EEE is 16217. DSE that is the Anand Sagar here you have 12,000 and here you have 34,345. So by seeing the cutoff I can definitely say ECE is more uh, trending demanding than EEE branch okay. Next. Uh, coming to the choice for you or not so i have few questions that you can answer here and if you find the questions the answers to these questions as yes then definitely you can go for the respective branches first of all for eee do you enjoy working with circuits and electronic devices okay so this you can easily find out uh, in physics you have so many circuit theory questions right do you find interesting while solving them or that irritates you that causes so much trouble for you just think about that next are you fascinated by how electrical system powers are or, or like work okay next do you want to work on technologies that shape the future because definitely the power system the circuits are something which will be required too much in the next coming years and uh, so sorry this is for ECE so do you enjoy maths and physics definitely here we require a lot of maths and physics are you curious about how gadgets work okay not the circuit but how the gadgets exactly work do you want to know about that do you like solving problems and working with technology so just answer these questions wherever you find more number of yes that is the right choice for you but uh, I can say that to a uh, 60, 50, 60 percent, these two branches are overlapping branches. Okay, there will be few courses which is making them separate, but there is not like that. If you are taking this one, you won't be able to know the knowledge. So there is an overlapping here. Definitely, number of opportunities will also be same, somewhat same. Similar options you will be getting, so you don't have to worry. If you are interested in this electronics field, then you can choose any one of them also. Okay, not an issue. So that's all in this video student and I hope this video was helpful and to have a, you will get a clear picture about triple E and ECE. So very simple thing triple E is all about circuit and the power generation whereas electronics is about gadgets okay and gadgets which leads to communication system okay. So that's all and I hope this video was helpful if you have got a clear idea about your uh, branch then please do comment down and next which branch you want a review that also you can comment down. Thank you for watching and all the best for your KSET 2025 counseling process.